So we've created our outer height map in TIFF format. In this video, we're going to create our inner height map in TIFF format. Okay, so let's go into QGIS. So here we are inside of QGIS. And you understand what's going on here, which is we still have our inner shape file, okay, that we drew earlier. And that's what happens when you double click on it. Our inner shape file. I can turn that on or off. We have our merged LiDAR data. Okay, so we took all of our LiDAR tiles and we tied them together. We merged them. So we've got that. And we have our outer surface that we've already done based on our outer. Now, if you use LAS files, okay, if you use LAS files, you're going to have another la layer here called Oakmont underscore inner or the name of your project underscore inner okay you're going to select that right now i do not i use dem files so you guys that did dem files okay you're just going to select your uh, project name outer okay the same one you did in the previous step okay so it's really important to understand that the difference between las and dem here so i'm going to select my oakmont outer here you guys doing las it's going to be your project name underscore enter. I'm going to come up here to raster extraction, clip raster by extent, similar to what we did before. And now I'm going to come up here. I'm going to click this pull down layer and I'm going to sec select enter. Okay. Now, just like before, override this projection for the output file. If you did your, um, uh, uh, LIDAR from LAS files, okay, you need to check this box. If you did not, okay, like me, if you're using DEM, you do not check the box, okay? So I am not checking the box because I have DEM files. So I'm going to come down here a little bit further. I'm going to select float32 in my output data type. I'm going to go down to this pull down menu and select save the file. And I'm going to go to my height map inner folder. Now, you're not going to have this file in here. I saved one earlier. So you're going to create a new file, and you're going to call that file the name of your project, underscore, LIDAR, underscore, surface, underscore, enter. Okay, you're going to put write that in there. I already had one in here. Okay, so I'm just going to save and overwrite that. You won't see that. Now, I'm going to hit run. And what's going to happen is it's going to take my inner shape file. It's essentially going to cut out my LiDAR data from that. So now I've got my, let me disable a couple things here. If I disable my merged LiDAR data, so here is my inner height map. There's my outer height map, okay, perfectly centered on it as well. So now I've got my inner height map and my outer height map. Now at this point, you've got the option. You can, you can actually delete. I could right click and delete my uh, Oakmont outer and my, and if you did LAS, you could also delete the Oakmont inner. Save these other two, okay? But you can delete those two if you want. I just tend to leave them in here. Um, it's completely up to you, but if you're worried about getting confused later on, I would delete those two out. Um, however, I'm just going to leave mine in here. I'm going to come up here to my project and I'm going to save this, okay? That's it for this video.